It's fantastic. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, welcome, everyone. There's a lot of people here. That's so nice. Um, uh, we will start with introductions, and then uh, we will move into uh, the agenda and uh, a little bit of talking and then conversation. Um, this session is the uh, Future of Wikimania discussion session. Uh, so again, we will talk a little bit about the background of the conference, the next coming years, updates from the steering committee, and then questions. Um, so let's, I think, start with introductions. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Welcome. There's a few, no more seats. There's a couple of seats here. Yeah, yeah, great. There's a couple here. Yeah, there's a couple here. Make yourselves comfortable. Uh, so can I ask, because there's a lot of people in this room, maybe uh, the members of the steering committee, can we all wave? Yeah. Yep. Um, and then uh, we'll just uh, say our names uh, really quickly. Stand and say your names. So um, I am Phoebe. Yeah, uh, there's a mic. Perfect. So I am Phoebe Hoffman. I'm the Director of Wikimedia Studies at the Wikimedia the Steering Committee. Hi, I'm Butch from uh, COT of 2023. I am Nangara from COT of 2020, 2021, and 2023. I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I am Florence from the steering committee. Eric. I am Eric, also from the steering committee. And we're My name is Sanji. I joined this year to the steering committee. Hi, I'm Andrew Lee. I'm on the steering committee, helped with the online and in real Wikimanias. Anyone else? <laughs> Uh, hi, everyone. I'm, uh, I am Yemen. I just recently joined the steering committee and from uh, COT uh, 2021. Okay, now this side. Hello, Yolanda. I'm the chair of the steering committee and I organized Wikimania is in Olario. Giselle, maybe you want to introduce yourself in my yeah. Hi, I'm Giselle Bordoy. I'm the facilitator of the Wikimania steering committee. Hi, I'm Mayur, and I help the steering committee as well. Thank you. And it's not here, but it's Lisa McCabe that she is yes. one of the Lisa, best. We should all. <laughs> <laughs> um, very good. And I think we are missing Ivan, who's on the steering committee. And a load of Ike, yeah. So we have two more members. So. Um, we are the group who uh, works on Wikimania, overseeing Ivan. Wave. And uh, we're, I will talk about that a little bit, and then we will uh, also introduce the people from uh, our coming years who are in the room in a moment. Um, Every Wikimania is unexpected. Every Wikimania brings its own challenges. Uh, this session, this session is a actually a tradition at Wikimania. We do this session every year, and I am curious how many people have been to this session actually before. Yes, good, many of us. That's why I thought. How many people have? Uh, well, how many people is this your first Wikimania actually? Whoa! Okay. Um, how, how many people are new in Poland? First time? Whoa. Okay. Okay. So, so every year, particularly for the first time people, we do this session. And the point is to get some background and to also have conversation and discussion about the future of the conference. Um, so I asked these two questions. I want you to think about this question. What is your favorite event that is not Wikimania? So if you go to a professional conference, a conference for your, uh, for your interests, a convention, just keep that question in the back of your mind. Do you know already? Wait, I check. already know. You already know. I already know. Uh, for me, it's the CE meetings, uh, of course. <laughs> and it's like, um, I've, I've heard that uh, answered like this, uh, whoever, so, someone was uh, given the uh, question of how do you, what is the CE meeting for you? And they said, it's my mini Wikimania. Oh, 
Smells so good. Okay, so keep this question in your mind. I will ask it again later. We also have an Etherpad that is um, different from the one linked in the room that uh, we planned this session in, and we can take notes there too. So um, I will put that up again also. Just some background, particularly for all you first timers. Uh, this is the 19th Wikimania. We have been all around the world. You can see on the map here. And. <laughs> Uh, and there's two, so there's been two, two of these were online, and um, the rest were in all the places you see. Um, we have had Wikimania in many different venues, big cities, small cities, a mountain village. Uh, we have had Wikimanias in many different physical locations, like conference centers, hotels, youth hostels. So we've done lots of things over our, our history. Um, and... All of these Wikimanias are hosted by a local team. So when Butch and Nangara say that they were on last year's COT, uh, they were the hosts for Singapore. Every Wikimania has a local team that it works with and is supported by the WMF. Um, and is also supported by the Wikimania Steering Committee, which is the group that we are on. And uh, that I am on, I should say. And the last couple of years, we've been doing this new thing, which is to have a regional team. So not just one chapter, one place, one uh, group, but uh, real collaboration among the area. So last year, it was a collaboration from ECAP. And uh, this year, it's a collaboration from CEE, which is amazing. Um, looking ahead. We have exciting news, if you missed it. Uh, and we're going to talk about this perhaps more tonight. But um, we have chosen the locations for the next year and the year after that already. Um, and at this point, uh, whoever is here from these two teams, uh, if you would like to introduce yourselves. Uh, so I know you're here, and I don't know if uh, 25 is here. But go ahead. Uh, 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 first, Anthony. Yeah. OK, hello, everyone. My name is Anthony Mtavangu. And, um, the COT member for, uh, COT lead actually for Wikimania 2025. In the room I have Michael as well. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Michael Mawa and I'm uh, a member of COT 2025, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. And, um... Yeah, hi everyone, uh, Remy from Wikimedia France and uh, co team member for Wikimedia 2026 and uh, Michael. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michael and I Michael. Michael. <laughs> and I'm part of the COT from twenty twenty six for Paris. Um, and we can prop the door to just go if it's too hot. Yeah. Um and do either of you want to say a little bit about the next years? Is it a surprise? Will I spoil the closing? Okay. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Oh, okay. Yes, so uh, Wikimania 2025 will be happening in Nairobi, Kenya, East Africa. <laughs> yes, you can see a beautiful giraffe there. And maybe, Michael, do you want to tell us? Michael is from Kenya, and I'm from Tanzania, a neighboring country. So, Michael, do you want to tell us a little bit about Nairobi, maybe? A little bit. Yeah. Um, I know I don't want to preempt many things now. Yeah, it's going to be Nairobi. Uh, though the picture you see over there is about the giraffe. Kenya is known for for wildlife and all that. But there's a lot of surprise which will let you know, perhaps tonight, about the uniqueness of Nairobi and Kenya. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, we're all very excited. And... <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so we are so excited to welcome you in 2026 uh, in Paris. Um, if, uh, even if the event uh, will be located in France, we really want to have a coordination with all the French speaking world. So some members of our core team are coming from uh, Cameroon, uh, from Tunisia, from Morocco. And it is also the language diversity we want to promote during this Wikimania. And we uh, also want Wikimania very integrated to the digital commons world with very strong connection with the 
general public. And so, yeah, we are still at the beginning, of course, of the organization. We still have time, uh, but we are very, very exciting to organize this event. So, yeah, we hope we will have a, a great moment together. Fantastic. Thank you both. And um, I will just say, for those of you who have been to this session before, this is new, right? That we have uh, that we have know where we're going to be further in advance um, than one year, uh, which we're very excited about, and we hope to keep going with it to give the teams some longer time to plan and to work. Uh, we first talked to the East African uh, team uh, last year, uh, before last year, actually before Singapore. So um, we're hoping to we're hoping to bring. Um, people into the process sooner and get the process going sooner also. And I think I can speak for both teams to say um, there will be calls for help. Uh, there will be calls for volunteers, for the program, and for other aspects. And if you're local to the region, you can jo certainly join the local teams as well to help. And um, uh, we will have so much more information uh, soon about uh, the events. Um, so let me give you now, uh, take a few moments and give you a few updates from the steering committee and then we will go to discussions. So uh, going even further ahead, like I said, we're trying to plan further in advance than we have the past 18 years. So um, the call for 2027 proposals will go out. Um, I don't have a date, like we're all going to go home and sleep, right? But after, after that, uh, in, the, in the next few months, we'll have a call for 2027 proposals. There's two things that we are very interested in, and when I say we, I mean the steering committee, the foundation, and really um, everyone thinking about organizing Wikimanias. Um, one is a regional collaboration approach. So uh, it's been very productive and cool to have these two regional collaborations, and we would really like to encourage further regional collaborations. And going forward, as um, these two teams just presented, we are thinking about regional collaborations and language collaborations even going forward. The next is uh, we have to be online. Uh, we have to be hybrid. So um, what I mean by that is we are a big and global community and uh, not everyone who works on Wikimedia is in this room, obviously. So it's really important to have um, online participation and I think we're all much better at it after the pandemic. So um, hopefully we can keep going with that. Um, if anyone in this room is interested in proposing uh, a location for a future Wikimania, and I don't know if you are, but if so, I will tell you. Um, you don't need to tell us your exact location. You don't need to say, this is going to be in this conference center. Um, you do and should tell us the vin like the region uh, and the team, the team that will support that. And um, your vision, most importantly, your vision for the conference. Why in this area? Why your team? Why would it be important to bring Wikimania there? When we, as the steering committee, pick the location in collaboration with the WMF and the local teams, we think about things like visas. We think about practicalities. We think about participant safety. Uh, we think about are there venue options? Um, but we also think about things like the local community who's there to support the Wikimania and also uh, have we moved the location around the world? So we don't have a strong fixed rotation, like we go here this year, here that year, here next year, but uh, this is a global movement. The conference should be accessible to everyone, both in terms of visas and in terms of where it is. So we definitely think about that. And I'll just say, it's been a long time since we've been in Latin America. So just, just, to, just to put that out there. Um, just to just to just to say that, uh, um, but but we do we do try we do try and make the conference accessible to a global movement. A few other kind of administrative updates. We are a group that works behind the scenes a lot of the time, um, and but we do meet with whoever is organizing Wikimania. Uh, so uh, we meet with them all year round, and we actually have a liaison to whatever the current year's conference is. Uh, this year it was me for this this year. Um, uh, we also added new members last year, Angie, Yaman, Lodovic, who's not here. Um, and we're currently working on our internal governance and processes just to like make things internally a bit smoother. Um, so you might see further calls for new members, et cetera. 
The real heart of this session, however, is not the updates. It's the questions that we want to discuss together. Uh, I have a mic. There's this mic up here. So my questions, our questions, really, we did this together for you, are as follows. Um, big picture things, like what kind of city do you like to have Wikimania in? Uh, we've had small, we've had big. Uh, what, what, what kind of experience do you like for your Wikimania? Um, and what collaboration po possibilities do you see for Wikimania and other events? Um, what session types are we missing? So this is an interesting question, right? Like you don't know what you don't have, but um, sometimes people have ideas for things. For many years, I have been proposing a Wikimania with no program, but like nobody wants to do that. So what session types are we do? Like, do we need? Do we not need? Um, uh, do we? Are we missing? Um, how do we increase participation both in the local areas and globally? Um, and are there things about the hybrid element? So these are all things we're curious about. We also welcome uh, just your general questions and feedback on any issue. And if you have questions for the steering committee, we are also here to answer those today. And so perhaps if there's anything you want to know about Wikimania, about the organization, the logistics, ask. Um, just feedback again about the conference. And going back to your favorite event that I asked you all to talk about, are there things that are done at that event that are not done at Wikimania that you would like to see at Wikimania? Are there cool things that you have experienced in other in-person events that you would like to see or online events? So uh, I will go back to this slide, I think. Um, there's a etherpad here we can put in notes together. Um, and I will just say, um, this is a lot and we have not so much time. Uh, we have, uh, yeah, not very much time, 20 minutes or so. So um, who uh, would like to start? And if nobody raises their hand, I'll ask if anybody else from the steering committee wants to say anything or contribute. Okay, yeah. Um, just while you're thinking about your answers to the questions, I want to acknowledge Giska hiding over here in the corner. We wouldn't get into this room without her. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, yes, you're amazing. Thank you. Um, yeah, in the... Okay. Okay, one here and then one there. Uh, I don't know who was first. Yeah. And then Jan, yeah. Uh, what session types that are missing? Like, uh, um, I so generally conferences are for deep conversations and also making new connections that are happening mostly in silence rather than in the conf uh, in the program. So, what if we create spaces where uh, and also uh, give a simple question uh, with uh, very good conversations that are happening and uh, programmatically, if we allow people to connect with each other, would it be wouldn't it be a good idea? That's my. Yeah, like a program hallway. OK. Um, I'm not sure I understood exactly, but I think my, my suggestion was similar. So I feel like year after year, the program gets so crowded with cool sessions that I I'm zapping from room to room and I, I don't have, like I have interesting uh, conversations I want to have with other people or with the presenters. And I don't, I don't feel like I have enough breathing room <laughs> to, to, because the, the program is full packed from start to finish of the day. Uh, and of course, not everybody needs to go to all the sessions, but since there are so many interesting uh, uh, pr proposals, there are also many uh, it, it ends up that people will naturally uh, feel the need or the, the desire to, to go to many of them. So that's. Yeah, we check to answer and then. I think I have a direct to that. Uh, guys, blame the authors of all these excellent submissions. <laughs> And I mean, and I mean, it was really hard. And I mean, it was really hard to uh, give you a program that's 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 full of good stuff to attend, uh, and to think about the, all, all the social spaces. Um, we're, we're lucky enough to have a rather large conference venue uh, with a lot of hangout space. Now, the question for the future: 
could this Hangout space be arranged differently, marked differently? That's a very nice open question. I would gladly revisit the question if I was organizing Wikimedia, Wikimania again. I see that Butch is raising his hand. Okay, so one of the things that I have really persist, uh, insist with the Wikimedia Foundation is make sure all the sessions are recorded, except of course those yeah. who don't want to be recorded. Because as an organizer, I want to watch, uh, watch the session myself. So right after Wikimania, I spent 16 days watching all those videos. <laughs> And I'm glad to say that all the sessions are recorded, apart from those uh, that have the do not record mark. This year. A little bit similar t uh, tone that uh, you were talking about before, because I think what is really interesting is when we get together is to actually have conversations rather than to listen to someone, because that we could do afterwards. Or like, so those recorded se or longer sessions, I think we should minimize them have more of lightning talks that sparks an idea and, oh, I want to have a go have a talk with that person or more really like workshop and discussions like this where we actually are collaborating together when we are together. Uh, there's hands up. Uh, uh, yeah, there's hands up. Uh, yeah I, I, can, I can hold for now, yeah. Actually, before we before we go further in the session, let me just say one thing. As a former Wikimania organizer, this is a really hard conference to pull off, and every year it's a balance between many things. So these are all excellent comments, and you know, we've discussed many things uh, a long time. So uh, just in the spirit of like good faith to the organizers and the participants, like we're all here just to make a better event, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I also want to encourage that. Yeah. Yeah. Present organizers don't see it so much as a criticism, but as a continuous development process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to back statements before. I also think that um, Wikimania should not so be, be uh, much about input because uh, that you can listen to at home. We could make pre-recordings and could make an input Wikimania completely virtually. Important is that we did discuss the issues. And I think when you, uh, when the, um, how is it called, the call for proposal is written, that you urge or even demand that we only make an input of a third of the time allotted to them, and that the rest is allocated to discussion. And that we, the um, <coughs> referees should uh, think about how we make this discussion. Because that's the most of my important thing about the discussion, we get to know each other. I, in the hallway, when I'm at coffee, I only say, hello, which Wikimania, but the the deeper discussion, they come from the, the workshops. So it should be more workshops. Yes, thank you. Hi. Oh. Ah. Yeah, um, the mic stays, I'll pass one to the back. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I, I wanted to say that something that I really appreciate in this year and last year also is like this zero uh, day event that allowed us uh, to have other type of um, conversations and workshops. And I think it's a good way to take like the best out of the meeting and the fact that some of us are traveling like for like for a long time to come here. Um, we're making the effort to meet um, regularly. So that's that was something like very important. And what I would love to see in a meeting, it's that we also, I mean, I understand, I completely appreciate that this is like a, we can, an event for celebrate volunteers and people who made this movement possible. But I think it's also, it could be like a good idea to try to connect also with like people that is not Wikimedians necessarily. And having, um, I don't know, not no, wouldn't say like a day, but maybe a grand, a big uh, open session for regular people who are not necessarily know what what means to be a Wikimedian, and yeah, like a way to also um, bring the event with the local uh, community or the city or um, yeah, what's happening in the place that is hosting as a community the event. Thank you. Oh, really brief. I think ice breaking sessions are extremely important in the beginning. And there's also like an energy level. We're very high in the beginning, then we go a little bit like this. <laughs> and so it's hard to, to tone the energy, but maybe 
harder stuff in the beginning, easier things in the end. I know it's very fine, but. Oh. Speaker, yeah. Oh, when you talk with people in small groups and then you kind of walk around and then, oh, I see you, I know where you are, I know your name. Um, sorry. Please don't do that. Um, <laughs> so I feel like one thing that we are missing here at Wikimania is like we do celebrate a lot of successful stories here within our movement, but also I guess that we should share the unsuccessful story sometimes because I know that like as a volunteer there are a lot of like difficulties or issues when I work on projects and I would like to hear like from the others who share similar experience and then we can learn together we can tackle the issues together so I feel like we should create like a safe and like friendly space like for each other so that they can also share like unsuccessful stories that we can work together this is what we need like here at Wikimania Yep. So all right. So I have many things, like many lightning things to say to get ideas. So first of all, in the hybrid conference elements, I know in the in Singapore you guys are doing great on the doing the broadcasting and that, but I want to see more like a live in reactions from the online participants. So like probably showing like comments, for example, like or having more interactive platforms because the asking the I mean moderator just asking the questions that's not the way I don't think it's gonna be like the more online participants can in involve except the speakers that was like first thing I can say and second thing as I was like the two years straight scholarship committee member so in the opportunity to provide like the more scholarship especially for Ken Kenyan library those cities are kind of like harder to access with the self funded participants. I know each year, every, every year, scholarships are being growing, but I think it's, this number should be keep growing as well. So by the way, as scholarship committee member, I always see applications. I am so sad that we have to grading with just for the text with the activities. Hmm. Oh, you hold it. Was okay. there, Andrew's I think so Andrew's got it. Sorry, I, I'm looking down, so you guys figure out the mics. Mm. Um, but maybe a couple more questions, and then I would like to invite questions for us also. Okay, I would like to refer to two things. The suggestion or idea of a um, non-program, which reminds me of, of open space technology mm. events. And I have been at events that do a hybrid between organized sessions and uh, open market situation. So just as a suggestion, it doesn't have to be a neither nor. And then another reference to uh, what's sub uh, summarized under uh, art of hosting methodologies, which is fantastic ways actually of um, making sure that a workshop or dialogue situation, uh, I mean, it can be done in many interesting ways to really get the voices heard. So just two what references. Is, I'm, I'm sorry, what is it called? Um, art of hosting, and there's lots of interesting web pages that kind of introduce methodology. So that's more about the process design than about content design to make sure that people get heard and included. Earlier Wikimanias, we had more on conferences. We haven't had them as much recently. Yeah, great. Last one in the middle. Okay. I mean, hello. And then the back too. I think. Yeah. 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 Am I next? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, two things, and the first one is probably a bit towards the the quest more of the question for the steering committee. Than so, I'll probably ask that as sec as the second part instead. The first part is that the event does not appear to be very accessible for people without that much of experience in Wikimania. Yeah. I mean, yeah, here's the thing. When we look at even way, there is like a section called, they like, like kind of ask what experience level you need. The fact is that even to most of them have said like, everybody can attend this event. That's not really the case. You, I mean, the feeling I get is you need one of two things to be able to reasonably participate. One, you need to be extroverted and be able to handle communications with people who are not very, let's say, I mean, let's say you say, but you need to be pretty extroverted or be very good in socialization. Or you need to have already have some sort of experience in the Wikimania movement. That would be that would be my group because I've actually seen a few people look a bit clueless and not entirely sure what to do. 
and that i think needs could i mean i'm not 100% sure maybe in future years we could probably have sessions that are deliberately geared towards people with no experience uh so that i mean most others would probably not find it useful but at least a person who has already been in wikimania for like 3 months and i've actually seen a few such people yeah. struggling could potentially uh contribute that would be the first of two parts the uh, i will answer ask the second part after this after thank you, you. thank you okay um well there's there's like there's like four uh things but i i do want to see if there are questions for us or the organizers at this point or does everybody have like more comments about wikimania overall are there any like specific questions we can answer uh it seems like maybe yes in the back over here um okay so what do you want to do um uh let's uh let's see let's see who has questions for us in the next like uh eight minutes i think okay. yeah Yeah. Uh, uh, in the previous editions uh, of Wikimania, yeah. I was very glad to see uh, in uh, on conferences and impromptu um, uh, events. Will uh, will be uh, will a, a special space, uh, a, a blank space for these events granted in the um, future Wikimanias. And a second uh, question is. Uh, i work in a sister project uh, like wikisource and uh, i'm glad to see that uh, this project has a space uh, in uh, this edition of wikimania uh, will there be uh, more space for other sister project like uh, wikinews or wikivoyage uh, or uh, if there is if it if it isn't present because there are not uh, there are not people maybe we should invite those people great okay. Yeah. Let's collect. Want to just collect the questions first, Phoebe? Yeah. yeah okay. If there are Great. any, and if there's yeah, not, there's then let's let's switch yeah. back. Yes. Um, hello. Um, I have two main feedbacks. The first feedback is I am on the autistic spectrum, and I can already say that is this Wikimania is very very bad uh, for uh, people on the spectrum, because uh, people are using normal clapping. Uh, but on uh, the wiki franca wiki convention conference we are already using for years the sign language clapping okay. like this and uh, also in wikimedia france events too we use uh, the sign language clapping and uh, for most of us on the spectrum having sudden noise changes can cause an overload yeah. uh, in our brain because it's a sudden surge that is not uh, automatically filtered by our brains so uh, it can put us into very difficult position so the question is can we support you folks better yes can can, can you can we uh, you uh, please just discuss with us with, with the uh, the people that got uh, disabilities so we can help you to design something like for example maybe some kind of also a silent move smooth booth for just discussing be, uh, with a, a few and full of people without having a lot of noise Uh, for you know impromptu uh, meetings uh, like that when we meet in the corridors instead of uh, drowning in sound uh, at the coffee uh, area and and the second input is a uh, link to, to my previous experience last year was on one only online I didn't secure um, uh, um, a scholarship to present my sessions at uh, the Wikimania in Singapore I got absolutely zero feedback after my sessions and uh, and this year I didn't have, I didn't even present anything and I got so much progress just by meeting people here there is totally no uh, no easy link between the online people which are three quarters of the attendees this year are so the question is can we better yes. link the two yes please link better uh, display maybe chat rooms uh, on some screens and things like that okay Yeah. Question. Thank you. Yeah. Make sure it's a question. Uh, it's, it's more like a suggestion than a question, but uh, still, still valid, I, I hope. Uh, hi, <laughs> hi, my name is Peter. I'm a member of the Wikimedia Poland. Uh, like, uh, it's it's like the um, see the the room. We are full here, and uh, you know, people are uh, uh, all sitting here, are occupying the walls <laughs> and uh, and sitting on the floors. Maybe there would be a good idea if we, uh, when we have a, a program and we have a, a attendee attendees list, uh, maybe it would it would be good idea to encourage the attendees to um, 
let let the organizers know uh, for, uh, for which session w uh, a person would like to sign up yep. so we can um, uh, organize better the, the the rooms for example if the uh, if the session would be a uh, 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 would be a large amount of people, uh, maybe you could use a, a bigger a bigger hall. Great, thank, thank you. you for the feedback. I think it's only fair to go back here since we're not in question mode. We are in comment mode. Okay. And I will just say um, we have I think uh, just a few minutes left. We end at uh, ten past the hour, so we have, and we should clear the room to be respectful. So we have maybe three minutes left. Um, I was uh, interested uh, interesting about more sessions about yeah. hardcore coding, okay. uh, like APIs yeah. and that sort of stuff, yeah. tool builders, other people in the community that do code. That's it. Okay, we've got another one over here, Andrew. Uh, first Sorry? time attendee, he's got a question. Okay. Hi, I think this will be a quick question. Um, for uh, Wikimedia 2025, uh, do we know the general time frame for that yet, or and if not, like when should, when will dates be announced? Anthony, uh, can I? I'll well, Ant Anthony is here. Look, I was going to say that's part of tonight's surprise, isn't it? Uh, isn't it in the closing <laughs> ceremony? <laughs> uh, do you? Yeah, it's up to uh, you. Uh, Thank you. So we are on finalizing stage of the schedule so and timeline, so we'll be able to know within one week time. Um, I just want to say last year, uh, I think we had, we, many of us were there last year, we had like what, 10 people in the room or something last year? Like this year it's much more popular and I am so glad everyone is very excited about the future of Wikimania. Um, uh, we, the steering committee, are also very excited about the future of Wikimania. Um, I think that you can, uh, anyone who's here who's interested in um, planning Wikimania um, is welcome to talk to any of us uh, who are here who work on the conference and we can connect you and we can email afterwards. So I just want to say please do reach out to us with questions. Um, I also want to say before we end a big thank you to the current organizing team who's <laughs> here in the person of my check. Um, uh, and I also want to say a big thank you, a big thank you to 2025 team and 2026 team both, who um, it's 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 so hard to say I would like to host 1,000 of my best friends in my home, right? Like it's so hard to say like let's make an event where we invite a global movement that is so diverse from all over, doesn't speak the same language, doesn't have the same culture, to say come, come to our area and uh, experience what it's like and uh, we together we'll make something magical. So I really appreciate the work and the effort that has already gone on um, and uh, it's really, it's a big lift and I encourage everyone who's interested to get involved. Is there one more? Please. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, hello, my name is Luis. I am director of Wikimedia Chile, a Latin American country yeah. and I have a question. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, please. Ooh. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, we, uh, we've been talking as a community, we're really interested in host uh, in the future Wikimania, so Great. we are going to submit our, um, our, our, our bid. And I have a question for the organizer of 2025 and 2026. In these first steps, uh, uh, wor uh, working on organizing your event, what are your, uh, uh, the challenges that you didn't expect and b because of your location? and you didn't n notice and the experience of prior events didn't teach you. you. Okay, so if I go to your question, you're asking about, about the challenges that maybe you currently we're facing? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so as I said before, Wikimania 2025 will be in Nairobi, Kenya. That's where we have planned so far. And I know there is a lot of uncertainties and vol volatility of the situations. For example, in Kenya, Nairobi, right now there is a Gen Z things. I think you all know. And, and just not, not, not only in Nairobi, like around the world, the situations are changing. So what I can say, uh, this is one of the challenges, but uh, we hope for the best. And the best thing we can do is staying positive and honest to the community, so we can do better and precise decisions on time. Yes. 
thank you. In uh, our case, I think that one of the most challenges we have is to not uh, burn the volunteer too, too, <laughs> too fast. You know, we still have more than two years. So it's important to uh, start doing things progressively and not involve too hurry people into the organization. And of course, start thinking, uh, it's hard to think uh, and connect the venue, possible venue that we are looking for. And the global idea of, of uh, what we would like our, our Wikimania um, uh, will looks like. So having this uh, connect the venue and a uh, vague idea is not easy for now, but uh, we will make progress in the uh, next month. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we move to the hallway for <laughs> more discussions. Thank you, everyone.